My husband actually called me um, on a Monday morning when I was getting ready for work and said he felt like he was having symptoms. A scare for a local military family. Their loved one infected with the coronavirus while deployed overseas. Our ABC 10 News reporter Anthony Pura spoke with the Marine's wife about the experimental treatment they turned to. Jennifer and Kyle Dulaney snapped this picture on the day Kyle was deployed to Japan. That was back in April. Earlier this month, Kyle got sick with COVID-19 on a base in Okinawa. My husband actually called me um, on a Monday morning when I was getting ready for work and said he felt like he was having symptoms. And those symptoms got worse, eventually sending Kyle to the ICU. It was awful. <laughs> it was awful. Being a nurse, um, almost knowing too much information, it made it worse. So bad that Jennifer says her husband qualified for the drug remdesivir. Described to her as experimental, doctors needed her permission in order to give it to her husband. I know where COVID can go. They can spiral downhill very fast. Um, you know, working with patients that have this, I've actually have friends that have had COVID that have been in pretty bad shape. Um, I didn't want my husband to go there. So for me, the benefits outweighed the risks. On the fifth day, Kyle's condition began to improve. Jennifer says she spoke to him recently. They were drawing his lab work because that's one of the things with the experimental. They have to watch um, labs very closely. Um, but he actually laughed on the phone. He actually was able to talk to me without coughing through it. Um, it was amazing. <laughs> While Jennifer and Kyle were going through this very trying time, Jennifer took a leave of absence from her job. I just mentally couldn't be a nurse <laughs> dealing with my husband. Her friends started a GoFundMe for her and her family. Jennifer says they've gotten so much more than they expected. She's donating what they don't spend to a nonprofit that helps military families. It's amazing. Um, so I want to take the remaining and pay it forward. And Jennifer says her husband will hopefully be out of the ICU in the next day or two. Anthony Pura, ABC 10 News. We are hoping for a quick recovery.